Hello and welcome to Engineer Hash Civil Engineer. In this video, I'm going to discuss about stress and strain. These two words are very prominent in the field of engineering. Every engineer should have basic knowledge of these two terms, stress and strain, to per perform his day-to-day -day duties. So first of all, let us know the definition of stress. The internal resistance developed in a body towards an external force is called as stress. In classical mechanics, every body is made up of small small particles. Consider this as the body. These are the small small particles which constitute the body. And this is the external force acting on this body. Due to this external force, an internal resistance is developed in the body. This internal resistance is called as stress. This internal resistance developed against this external force is called as stress. And this stress is directly proportional to the force acting on it. As the force increases, the stress increases. And the stress on a body is indirectly proportional to the area acting on it. As the area increases, the stress decreases and as the area decreases the stress increases so the stress can also be defined as the force experienced by a body within a unit area is called as stress and here we can also define strength of a body strength of a body is nothing but it is the ability of a body to withstand maximum stress is called as strength of a body. Now let us get into the definition of strain. The dimensional change in a body caused by an external force is called as strain. See consider this as an external force which is acting on this body. Due to this external force there can be a dimensional change of this body. Consider this as length L. Due to this application of external force, there is a dimensional change or the change in length, it is called as delta L. So here, the strain is the ratio of change in length to the original length. It has no units. So, strain can be defined as it is the ratio of change in length to the original length. All this happens because of the action of this external force. So, that is called as strain. So, with my explanation, if you understand the basic concept of stress and strain, please hit like button, please share it with your friends, please subscribe my YouTube channel Engineer Hash for more civil related videos you can send me feedback at this email id you can comment thank you very much